Okay, so this is what I found out about small HD image overlay on the uh, focus. Um, if you go ahead into the system here and you capture an image overlay, like you actually go into this right here, and um, you, here I'll do that again. If you go into image capture, right? Hit that, image capture, and you capture it of image, image capture, oops, come on guy. There we go, and we go plus, and we capture that image, it's been captured inside. We can then pull it up here in our image overlay, and I go into there, I go into my SD card, images, that was image number two that we just did there, it'll pull up a select, we're off and running. Yay, that's pretty cool. And then you've got this image overlay you can do. And that you can, you know, change the opacity with, if you want it to blink on and off, you know, all that fun stuff. Okay. Now, what happens if instead you're like, hey, I want to import some photos, right? We're doing some stuff for the Mob Museum here in town. I'm like, oh, I did all these different photographs. I'm going to import those photographs onto an SD card and then I'm going to use them as an image overlay so we can go back in there and select them, you know, to use it as this image overlay here. Well, the thing is, is that they don't work. And what I've discovered is the reason that imported images into this thing don't work is because they're too big. So, uh, these ones that are in my, in the card right now are like 10 megabytes a piece. And, um, what I've discovered was if I shrink them down to a lower size, all of a sudden they're viewable and I can select them which by the way this takes forever sometimes it's a little laggy here small HD a little laggy but I can select them and utilize them in image overlay honestly yeah see laggy I think it's the processing power of this small little guy anyways long story short is anything over two megabytes you can't use so when I go to come on come on image overlay, I select a file size, or I select the image I want to use here, anything over like this three megabyte, I'll select it, I get nothing over there, there's no image. Four megabyte, five megabyte, eight megabyte, I think this was my original one at ten megabytes, can't see it. But the two megabyte one, that's selectable. Any of the ones that I had previously had up there that the small HD captured, I can grab. But if it's above Two megabytes, not going to see it. So hopefully that helps. If you want to use image overlay where you're using a, a file that you've previously captured doing a photo shoot or doing a video shoot and you want to take a still shot and move it in there, just make sure that whatever image you use is below two megabytes in size and it should work just fine. Minus the really slow lagginess of this thing. <laughs> Anyways, there you go.